Larry as an athlete is special. And I spoke with Adam recently, and I said, I think Larry's top 10 in North America right now, 242s, and yesterday's performance, I may have underestimated him. He may be higher than that. Larry Beals has once again started creating big waves in the world of arm wrestling. And as a result of that, he has now been offered with the super match by the one and only Monster Michael Todd at Monster Factory Super Match event. At Arm Wrestling News, you guys know that you get more than just news. You get a complete detailed analysis of all the situations. So who is going to win this super match? Let's discuss some of the basic details before coming to that conclusion. Now Larry has dropped some weight. He's around 115 kilos at the moment. He won the Mexican tournament. Before that, he won the California championship and he's the king of California over Derek Smith. And recently, he finished second at the Arizona state championship only behind Sandris Shedis. So basically, if they didn't invite international talent to compete there, Larry would have won this tournament as well. So he has become a really legit arm wrestler in USA. And here, I would also like to talk about the practice pull that Larry had with John Brzezink. On that day, John was fresh and Larry recently had a super match which he won very easily. So it wasn't like he was tired either. I think he had a couple of practice pulls as well before he pulled a fresh John Brzezink. Not saying that John couldn't beat Larry, obviously he can and easily probably, but when John allowed Larry to get into a comfortable position and John himself was in kind of a difficult situation, he wasn't able to pull back that match. He cannot regain any position and beat Larry from a compromised position. Even doing that against a 58-year-old John Brzezink is still crazy. That kind of shows your level. Early on, when everyone was visiting Larry in Dubai, he had only the hook technique. But now, he can top roll a little bit and he can also press. That is a technique that he recently developed. So overall, Larry is becoming a well-rounded arm wrestler. Recently, Larry stopped using steroids. He was only on TRT, which is also a steroid, but it is way less than what he was using before. But I think recently, he once again got on some more stuff because he's preparing for a bodybuilding classic meet. And the only way you can win there or even do well is with a bunch of steroids. So I think Larry is on more than just TRT right now. That can also be a reason why his strength may have increased slightly recently. So let's talk about their previous matches. Ron Bath beat Chan Shaw 3 pins to 2 in a grinder of a match. He won that match based on only endurance. In the initial two rounds, Chance was way stronger than Ron. And Larry Wheels beats Chan Shaw. I'm just kidding. It was just a practice pull. Chance wouldn't like it if he hears that. But even if it is a practice pull, it shows that Chan Shaw's margins in that match may be very slim. The margin for error isn't there if he competes against Larry. Ron Bath lost to Paul Lynn 3 pins to 1. I think Paul Lynn will beat Larry 3-0 probably. And Ron lost 3-0 to Pavlo. I think Larry also loses to Pavlo the same way, even easier. Let's talk about their age. Ron is over 60 years old and Larry is only 28. The later this match happens, the better it is for Larry. And this match is probably going to happen in December because Monster Factory has been postponed now because Michael has this awesome plan. He's creating some training facility and arm wrestling facility, which we have never seen before. Both of them are at around the same weight, 115 kilos. And I think that match can potentially happen at 242 as well, around 110 kilos. That's what Michael Todd also mentioned. My verdict on this is I still have Ron Bath as a favorite but only a slight favorite in this match now many people would say that larry is going to get destroyed by ron i don't think so i think ron will be shaking in that match he will have to give his 100 percent and larry may still get a few pins but ron may get the win based on experience and endurance because these are the two things these are the two aspects where larry might be lacking so i think it is an absolute war it is a close match great idea by monster michael todd I hope that Larry accepts this challenge. I hope he competes more in arm wrestling. And who knows, he may even win this match. Thanks for watching. Like the video and subscribe.